Well, it's hard not to think of spring when temperatures have been so far above average every single day. The countdown to the official start is on. We're down to about 34 days. It begins Monday, March 20th. It'll be here before you know it. Uh, but just taking a look at what we're seeing here across Western Mass, some daffodils starting to bud up. I think Dan Brown took this photo. So it's out in East Long Meadow where you're starting to see some buds. I know I've seen some buds on the trees just across the street here in Springfield. Uh, so, you know, it's a little early. We don't want anything to pop up yet. And in fact, while we are still dealing with this mild trend, there may be some changes coming in our future. So looking at some of the highs so far today, 51 in Westfield, 60 almost in D.C. You've got 60s and 70s across the south and only 30s at the colder spots across the Intermountain West. Now tomorrow that cold becomes a bit more pronounced from the northern plains into the Rockies where you've got some highs in the teens. It's a little bit more common this time of year, a little bit more of an Arctic surge. Meanwhile, the warmth gets more impressive. There is definitely an impressive storm system here across the country's midsection, dynamic and a little bit intense, and it's allowing for warmer temperatures across the south with 80s expected uh, down in Florida and Texas, mid 50s, possibly even some upper 50s for us here in southern New England. Looking at our daily high temperature stretch, we take a run at records the next three days. I think we'll be shy Wednesday. We may break it Thursday, and we're going to be very close to tying the record on Friday. Saturday, we drop significantly compared to Friday, but we're back to normal. It doesn't last long. We're back into the 40s and 50s Sunday into early next week. But Tuesday, we start dropping. And in fact, it looks like temperatures will keep dropping as we head toward the end of next week. And the temperature outlook, the 8 to 14 day range, so we're talking February 22nd to the end of the month, now starting to trend a little cooler for New England. Not a guarantee, but we're leaning in a cooler than normal direction. We'll see. And the precipitation outlook is pretty much the way it's been all month, where we're sort of near normal or possibly leaning wetter than normal. Could that mean there's some snow in our future? Not going to rule it out at this point. So we're watching this vigorous storm system across the country's midsection. A lot of rain with it, some severe weather with it, uh, some snow on the northwestern side of it. Severe weather threat will continue across the deep south Wednesday and then shift a bit farther east on Thursday all the way up into the Ohio Valley. Now, no word yet if we're going to see any threat for thunderstorms on Friday, but we may actually get a few rumbles of thunder with the system as it comes through. Not sure why I'm not seeing my wind on here, but it is what it is. We will have increasing breezes tomorrow. Early clouds will get give way to some breaks of sunshine in the afternoon. Wind out of the south could gust up to 30 miles an hour. Wind will ease up a little bit Wednesday night into Thursday and Thursday morning. We may actually start off with a little bit of sunshine. That could really help to warm temperatures fast. But clouds will increase and we'll be tracking some scattered showers around for Thursday night with a passing warm front. Then our cold front approaches Friday morning. This is what's going to bring the dramatic temperature swing and our best shot for heavier rain. So Thursday night scattered showers. Temperatures will rise through Friday morning, maxing out around 60 early Friday. Then the cold front comes in and we quickly drop 40s at 11 a.m. 30s by the afternoon, maybe a snow shower or snow squall out there, and then it's blustery and a whole lot colder to end the week. Saturday, 38, so back to normal, but with some sunshine. We head toward President's Day. We're looking mainly dry. There could be a little rain Monday night to Tuesday morning, and then possibly some rain and snow late next week. Chris and Mary? Jenna, thanks.